It was a little bit extreme. Ow, my MCL. Yeah, me. I think my relationship with Shane was pretty unique in the action sports industry. We were best friends, we were best ski partners, and I was on one side of the lens and he was on the other. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Ready for the X Games. I'm still a kid. Shane was still a kid. We worked together so well, we had the same sense of humor. We basically sat around the house and, and we'd come up with the most ludicrous things we could think of. And if things were funny enough, we'd just be laughing our asses off and he'd go, write it down, and we'd write down these ideas. And then, you know, we were roommates. It was so easy to just go out there and just shoot some ridiculous stuff. We saw mountains in the same way, so we had a, a level of trust. He always trusted my vision, I always trusted his. We'd look at a mountain in the, in the same way, pick out lines, and then he'd just go do them, and, and I'd shoot them. In a lot of days, we'd go out just the two of us. No still photographer, no anyone else. It was just the two of us out there in the mountains, and him skiing a line, and me shooting. One year he skied a line near Squaw Valley just in the side country and it was a pretty gnarly line and it barely went. It was, it was like to a point where you couldn't get through there. He never even saw it in the daylight. He had already gone around to the top in the dark and he asked me, do you think I can do this? Looking at it from the bottom, I said, yeah, I think you can get through there. I trusted his abilities, he trusted my judgment, and he went up there and just nailed it. For years, Shane had, had joked about the shot that he wanted to get with a ski area caution placard, and he wanted to take it and throw it up into the wind, like he was throwing caution to the wind. It was pretty ironic that I was throwing him to the wind before we got to throw caution to the wind. <laughs>